Hello lovelies, welcome back. I hope that you're all good. It's another week. It's a bit of a weird one here in the UK. I've been wondering whether to start filming today or not. It was really beautifully sunny this morning and then it was like tipping it down with rain. And because especially in this room, we have single glazing, you can really hear the rain. It's kind of lovely for me, but I don't know whether it would have been really annoying for you guys. But anyway, firstly, thank you so much for all of your lovely comments on my previous video. I will be replying to them. It's um, it's just been a bit of a mad week for us. We're really trying to get on top of things with the DIY. I've got, you probably can't see it from there, but terrible DIY nails at the moment. And at the end of this video, or in a second, I'm going to talk you through the red room and my plan for it. Definitely going to get you guys involved because you seem to really like the idea of that. But I'll talk through that in a second. Because right now, I want to show you some things that I have been picking it off, kind of been putting it off because I didn't know whether to show it or not, but so many of you ask, um, both on Instagram and on here, what I'm wearing, especially kind of like dress wise. So I'm gonna go through some of the ones I've picked up recently. As I am loving the warmer weather, it's much warmer in our house. It's lovely to not have layers on and it's so nice to be wearing swishy, comfortable dresses again. Let's show you this jumper first. I'm wearing jeans today, by the way, but these are my really comfortable ones. I picked up this knit as a light knit that I could wear when it was a little bit warmer. Kind of like that spring, summer jumper. And I love things that have this open knit. So it's got the same kind of detail all over it, but the really puffed sleeves, which I think make it kind of elegant. And then also quite a square neckline. The neckline's a little bit different, which I feel like adds a nice style to it. The one thing that I would say with this one is... Probably if you're like between sizes, I'd go down a size because it's semi on the baggy side already. Like it's made to be oversized, which I love. And it pulls in here. If you do want it to be a little bit longer, you could also pull it down. But I love having mine do, 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 like that. But I always have mine a bit high-waisted and kind of tucked in. And I say it's that perfect color where it isn't like a stark white and it looks a little bit cheap, but it's a really nice tone. It just shows off the tan a little bit and it is so soft. It's like really comfortable, especially as we're due for a little bit more rain at the moment. It's lovely to have some lighter knits for when you're wanting to still feel a little bit spring summer like. This is my absolute favorite dress at the moment. It ticks pretty much, I wanna say, every single box for me. I love it so it's in this really cute ditzy print and it's got peach flowers all over it and the shoulders are really gorgeous it's got some really nice details it's got pleats across the shoulder here it just poofs out a little bit and kind of comes in but it's really elegant and feminine and then it is quite a low v but if i show you without hopefully showing you too much you can have a tie here you can also undo that tie if you want to and it also has a set of two clips so Okay, this just feels a bit awkward, but I've already got one clip on here, as you can see, and you can do it up again if you want to, which I love because it actually gives you quite a bit of, like, versatility. I don't know, like, if for some reason, if you're wanting to wear it around your family, you can have it, like, you know, really buttoned up, but if you're having it more for, a, like, a friend's party, then you can have it open. Obviously, you know that we're not going to any friend's party right now, but I like having the options, and then it comes in at the waist in a really, really flattering place just under the bust with these really sweet, I think they're actually like mother of pearl buttons, which run all the way down the dress and then it pleats at the bottom. It's got a gorgeous swish to it, which you guys know I love. It's actually open just a little bit there where the final pleat comes in. And if this dress couldn't get any better, it also has pockets. It's just perfect. I mean, I actually think it is my perfect dress. Um, the back is also really pl flattering and pulls you in. And if you are curious, it also is lined underneath. So it's just really, really beautifully made. You're not gonna see anything under this. I do usually, I always have nude underwear on, but because it's lined, you, you don't see anything. You can't see my bra or knickers. So when I first picked this one up, I actually imagined that I might alter it, but now I'm not sure that I will. I think it's so pretty. So this is actually ASOS own brand. Um, so a really reasonable price. And it reminded me of so many expensive dresses that I'm seeing and like the likes of free people at the moment. It's striped, which you guys will know I absolutely love in a white and beige. And I just think that this area is so elegant and pretty. Ollie did say that like, I look like a milkmaid the other day. And I was like, don't think that that's a compliment, but I love it, so I'm going with it. Um, it has a, just a tiny bit of a puff sleeve, but nothing too over the top. It has a square neckline, which I really, really like. I love this kind of 
bando effect that goes over the bust here. And I personally love dresses that have just a little bit of an arm. I find them really elegant. It comes down to just about the elbow there, but actually, to be honest, I think I could pull it down a little bit further. I've got it kind of bunched there slightly. And then it drops down and it's actually full length. And when I saw this online, I was wondering whether to cut it off at the second tier. So as you can see, it goes down one, two to make it more of a midi dress. However, now that I've got it on, I actually quite like it long. Um, I wore it on the other day when I showed Ollie and he said that I looked like a milkmaid, but I think it's really sweet. For reference, I'm five foot six and kind of hits my ankle perfectly to not be too long. I'm now onto the items which I haven't actually tried on yet. And I wanted to show you guys this one. Probably if you have a bit of a different body shape to me, I think it would really suit you. As you can see, I'm covering my bust because it is very, it's not just revealing on the bust, but it's kind of tight. So it's revealing them even more, if you get what I mean. Um, whereas I feel like I can get away with some low cut dresses when they're quite loose fitted. I don't know whether I could, hang on, let me just adjust it. I don't know whether I just flashed you. <laughs> Yes, so this line is kind of cutting me off on my bust. Maybe it's just the fact that I need a bigger size because I do really like this dress. It's got the gorgeous pleats on it again. It's very similar to the striped one that I tried on. It's in a really loose cotton, really flowy, really pretty. And it also has a deep V at the back, which looks really pretty. Um, maybe I think this is the kind of thing that I would wear with um, perhaps a bikini on underneath when the weather gets a lot warmer. But for me personally, size up, <laughs> maybe not one. Um, for the bigger busted ladies. <laughs> Can you sense a little bit of a theme? I'm definitely liking this style of dress at the moment. This one's really sweet. It um, feels a little bit less formal, partly because of its material. It's actually in a bit of a jersey material, which is really soft, almost a little bit t-shirt like. And these flowers are so pretty. They're actually showing up a little bit darker on camera than I think they are. So it's got this bandeau effect. Again, um, same kind of sleeves, but actually these are really gorgeously just frilled around the edge. They don't feel at all like they're, they're going to slip down or fall off. It actually feels really comfortable and like I could easily get on with my day to day. One thing I would say about this one is that I wish, I think, that I picked it up. I mean, I think it fits me, but for me personally, I like things a little bit more oversized. Perhaps because of my age, I just feel like it looks a little bit more loose fitting on me and a little bit more flattering. And I reckon I probably could have gone up a size in this one. It's quite um, fitted around the waist, which I don't mind. And then it's got the same effect at the back, drops open slightly, there's my bra strap, and it's got a frill at the bottom too. And though it is quite short, it actually um, is quite covered around the bum area. So short, but not too short. For me, this is about is as kind of mini as I get. Now this unfortunately isn't within my comfort level, but please, if this is within your comfort level, buy it and wear it for me because I love it. I wish that it was perhaps white so that I could have found some fabric to add to the bottom of it because I think with this baby blue, it'll be near enough a nightmare for me to add fabric to it to try and make it a bit longer, but it is, it is hella short. And I know a few of you will say I can get away with this, but I literally wouldn't be able to bend over, nor like sit down on the grass or a beach or anything like that. Um, but actually this is from a brand that I was really liking on ASOS. It's called Sister, no, Sisters of the Tribe. They had so many cute dresses. I think unfortunately a lot of them were short, but I'm gonna have another look because this one is just, it, I love the style of it. I love the color of it. The sweet little bow on the side, how it comes in at the waist, the detail here. You can't guess, I absolutely love it, but, but too short Flora. So I'm gonna be living through you guys on this one. Just to torture myself, I actually have just noticed that I ordered another dress from that brand. I do really love their stuff. This dress is also gorgeous. And it doesn't, actually this one doesn't feel so short. I think because it's got a lot more material to the skirt. And I'm wondering whether if I went up, I can just see from this one here, I think this one is a size 10. If I went up a size, I reckon it might just fit me that little bit better. Is it, I mean, <laughs> not as short because really it fits generally. Not sure if you can tell on camera, but this one's in like a lovely buttermilky lemon color. It's got really sweet sleeves and they have all of this like pom-pom, detail to them which runs around also like just around the bust. Pulls in quite a bit of the waist and then it's floofy, this would be gorgeous and they're probably not gorgeous in the wind <laughs> too much because you might see more than you bargain for. And I thought I'd end on one 
that I know that I like. Um, this one I've actually worn a few times already. It's from New Look, but I picked it up on ASOS. I love this colour. It's a really like fun, energetic blue. The style is very similar to the ones that you've seen that I like. Kind of like pulls in here at the arm and has a little bow detail. It's got some buttons here, but they, they don't do up. You can kind of tell that this one is on the cheaper end, but obviously like to a certain extent you get what you pay for. It comes in under the bust and then it just flows out really nicely. One thing that I will say with this one is that the fabric does feel like polyester. It's got that um, kind of, you know, more plasticky feel to it rather than the cotton dresses. So this one might not be perfect on a really like hot, humid day. It's a little bit later. I've been doing some emails and I must admit, I don't know if anybody else is doing this, but I'm getting changed about a million times a day at the moment. I don't know if that's just me. But I just remembered I really wanted to read you guys this. It's a poem that's been used in, um, I think it was like a BBC advert. But I thought it was so lovely and I wanted to share it with you. I don't know if everybody will have heard it in the UK, but I'm not sure whether outside of the UK you won't have heard it at all. So here we go. It's called Don't Quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you are judging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns, and many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up though the pace seems slow, you may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than, it seems to faint and faltering man, Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup, and he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint to the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are, it may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your hardest hit is when things seem worse that you must not quit. I loved that, and if you needed to hear it, I hope that it helped. I am gonna be saving it on my phone. So if I ever have a day with this house where I think, why did we do this? I'm gonna read that and recenter myself. Also, I'm dyslexic, so I may have got words totally wrong within that, um, but hopefully you got the gist and I will leave um, a link to it below so that you can read it properly yourself. <laughs> Good morning. It's another day. Today is a day of the week. <laughs> That was informative. I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh gosh, I really should know that. But today I am planning to do two major things. Well, three actually. Well, these are the three main things. I'm doing other things than this. I wanna paint the kitchen shelves. I wanna tidy up a specific part of the garden. And I wanna choose some things for the upstairs room that we're gonna be doing together so that I can finally get on Instagram and let you guys choose some pieces. So these are the kitchen shelves that we put in, but as you can see, they are just MDF, not that pretty. So I'm actually painting them in the same color as the walls so that they'll blend in. And we've got a little bit at the back there from where the Rayburn was that I also just need to neaten up. So I need to head to the shed to hopefully find a little mini roller. I've found the paint here, which we use actually on the kitchen cabinets. So hopefully I have, actually it seems like there's plenty in there. And then I can finally need these off and style them. However, I quite like the way that I've just dumped these things on there. I'll show you those in a second, but let's head to the shed. This is the area that I actually want to tidy in the garden. It's like our little rose section and we've got this blossom coming out. So I reckon this was supposed to be a rose wall and I don't know whether these two here were meant to be as big as these two, these are insane. But this keeps getting taken over by honeysuckle and I do think that it's gorgeous but it's also a bit of a weed. This one's lemon and this one's pink and then I'd love to take a photo over here in the garden with this one but I think I'll need to tidy this up first. This is actually a rose that Ollie and I planted when we first came here for our anniversary. It is swarming with bees under here. By the looks of it, we've only got big ones. Got them. Considering how many paintbrushes we probably have in this house, this is the only one I can find. Yes, it's a masonry brush. No, I shouldn't be using it to do this, but I wanna get it done, so 
and I'm gonna hope that I can do this semi neatly. Very patchy, but I painted it. Those holes are gonna be covered by this little bit of wood here. And I think now I'm gonna head out in the garden. down this section <laughs> moving on to this section and we're actually thinking of taking this rose arch out and um, we're hoping to move this rose because this is quite a substantial rose here further back to the wall maybe but we'll have to see the arch isn't staying though I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive it's just what I don't know if you guys can hear the bees, but they are so loud. Well, we made quite the mess. We have little pockets. Oops, everywhere. Hey friends, I ended things quite abruptly yesterday because I went to check on my car. Um, it's been sat underneath a tree just outside um, and it needs to be moved because it's sat under that tree and it looked like it had been totally abandoned. You know when you see those cars, they've just got loads of things like twigs, everything all over it. And unfortunately it didn't start and then the like the window came down automatically and it wouldn't go back up so i couldn't just like lock the car and walk away cutting a long story short ollie tried to jump start it which meant that the window could go back up but my car needs a new battery so we had to um knock on a neighbor's door to get them to move the car so that i could like ollie could push my car back to in front of our house bloody bloody blah, blah, blah basically that is what happened and i've also been working on a little bit of branding this week so i'm going to be changing my youtube banner and changing things up a little bit i just thought it was a nice time to have a little refresh but i wanted to chat to you guys now about this room which unfortunately i feel has stuck as the red room which just isn't a great name for it and i really need to rename it maybe we can just refer to it as like our project um, but you guys seem like you really wanted to get involved, which is amazing and the best way by far from what everybody was saying was to do it on Instagram, which I agree. It would be so much easier and I know so many of you don't have Instagram, but unfortunately I just don't think there's a way that I can like easily make it happen without doing it on Instagram. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do the first round on my account. So it will be like the general questions of stuff that I'm gonna start ordering. And I will pop that just here. It's just my name, so make sure that you're following me over there. And I think maybe, because I've been working on getting a few bits together and a few ideas of kind of styles and what we can do. There's not a huge amount to work with because this room isn't huge. And partly we need to work with what we've got, but I've got a few different paints. There's still quite a few things that I need to buy. So I think we can make it quite interesting. And then moving on from that, I think throughout the whole process, I'm gonna be involving you guys and asking you questions. So instead of doing a room reveal a bit like the bathroom where I'm currently working on it and you guys aren't at all involved, you'll see the, after, like the before and after at the same time. With this room, we'll go through it together. So I'll show you weekly on YouTube where like the progress is you guys can comment on it if you don't have instagram leave any ideas and then also on the home account which is townhouse on the avenue oh hang on that's the door so on that account i'll do weekly polls if we come up against anything like for example say we want to like panel a wall if for some reason we can't do that i'll put it out to you guys and we'll make the decisions together so i thought i'd briefly go through this room let you know what we're gonna kind of want to as and then in this youtube video you can comment below if you have any very initial ideas, maybe if you don't have Instagram and you feel like something really amazing will work because my idea with the Instagram is to say, should we go for this light fixture or this light fixture? But if you at this point want to think about any like style decisions, this is your time to let me know. So here it is again to jog your memory. It's going to be a guest 
bedroom, temporarily a guest bedroom. We already have the bed, which we're thinking of putting over in this corner here. It's a double bed, so it's gonna take up a lot of the space. It's exactly the same as the double bed that we have downstairs in the room that we rent out. So if you wanna go back for reference, it's a divan bed and we don't have a headboard for it. So over here, we're gonna have to do something cute for a headboard. It's not a huge amount of space, so I actually will just double check the size of that and make sure a double bed will fit. And we've got this boxing in the top. It's actually a beam that goes through the house. Obviously, we're gonna have to keep. I think it'd be really lovely to make a feature of this area over here. And I really want to somehow get in a bedside table. So I'm thinking because like the bed will probably sit on this wall because it's much easier to get into the bed from this side. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do some kind of cute bedside table just here with a light. I think it's gonna be best to have a light on the wall, but let me know your thoughts. This area is a little bit awkward. It's quite deep because of the cutout of the boiler, the tanks in there. And I think layout wise, probably having a desk here will be best. We're probably gonna have to do a bit of a bespoke desk, maybe some Ikea legs, with just um, maybe an MDF top or something like that. That could be like a bit of a dressing table perhaps. The floor is sadly boarded. So we took out the original flooring in here to put the tank in because one day this will be a bathroom and we won't be able to have the original flooring and we wanted to do that for the long run so I've actually ordered some carpet samples I'm gonna let you guys pick the colour I'm afraid they are pretty ordinary they're kind of like a beige colour and they are just as cheap as chips because obviously when this becomes a bathroom we're not gonna want it carpeted now I'm stood by the bed will be I envisage quite a big wardrobe over in this corner, simply because I think it's so nice to have storage. We'll be able to perhaps store some things in here, but then also be able to have some space for guests. I'm not sure whether the wardrobe should actually fill that whole area up till here where the chimney breast is, and then it dips in slightly. And I'm thinking of popping a chest of drawers there. Again, more storage. Now I think the chest of drawers will go better over there rather than in this corner because if anybody wanted to like put their laptop or a tv at the end there if somebody was staying here a bit more long term then they could obviously put that on there don't know if this helps but the chimney brass comes into the room about that much so i wondered whether we could get some shelving on this part here to display some nice things now it is open to you guys to leave any suggestions that you want to go into the polls on instagram obviously i've got a few ideas myself but anything that you might want to add in let me know and hopefully I will be doing that in the next few weeks just to make sure that all of you guys are following me over there. I'm going to probably give it about a week because I want to get ordering some things. At the moment it could take about up to a month for some things to arrive. This is what I've just started pinning on Pinterest. And we already have an Ikea mom chest of drawers, which I no longer want in our room. So it'll be great for that space, but I thought I could do something to it to make it a bit more interesting. I love this next one with the green wool for a bit of a headboard and the hanging lights. I think that would be amazing. And then these are just some ideas of how I can get in a bedside table for a really tight space. And I liked how these had the three shelf option because it just, I love storage. <laughs> I am going to sign off now, carry on with this Pinterest board. I can't wait to hear your ideas or any other suggestions. So I'm thinking next week we'll go ahead with the Instagram. And then hopefully the week after we'll be able to like make a start on the room. So make sure that you are subscribed. You can hit the little notification bell so that you won't miss anything on this room that we're going to be designing together. And also make sure that you're following me on my two Instagram accounts, which I will put down below. And I think this is going to be so much fun. I will see you guys really soon. I hope you're all well and have a lovely weekend. Bye.